Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is your favorite baker recipe queen. Are you here for the first time? Are you seeing me for the first time? I am a Nigerian baker and I run this channel. So please, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and don't forget to tap on that notification bell so that whenever I upload my videos, you'll be notified. You'll just get the alert that the recipe queen just uploaded the video. So I will appreciate that. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for the views, thumbs up, thanks for the the likes, the comments, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So in this video, I'll be talking about knowing your flavors. As a baker, you must know how to use your flavors. And the flavors I'm talking about today are the mind flavors. That's the less concentrated flavors. I'm not talking about the industrial flavors or the highly concentrated flavors. So I'll be talking about the mind flavors the common ones we have in the nigerian market so i'll be using it to teach you what flavors are like how they work how you should combine them and how you use them in your baking so i'll be back after the break sit back and relax okay welcome back so like i said earlier we'll be talking about flavors your baking flavors and this flavors fall under um is either you're using the essence or you're using the extract when it comes to baking cakes in nigeria we have different flavors and these flavors are grouped into four categories the first category is the versatile flavors those one i also call them the friendly flavors the second category is the harsh flavors those ones i call them the unfriendly flavors and we have the purposeful flavors those ones i also call them the conventional flavors then lastly we have the dry flavors so when it comes to versatile flavors we have the vanilla the butter flavors then the milk flavors then under the milk we're talking about the condensed milk the butter milk flavor then when it comes to the and butter and flavors we're talking about the butter scores the butter nut and all that so i would say these three flavors are the most friendly flavors we have the vanilla the condensed milk the butter scotch those three flavors i mentioned earlier they are so friendly at times when you want to bake a sponge cake or when you want to bake your vanilla cake you can as well mix vanilla with condensed milk with butterscotch the three all together and they will come out the cake will come out fine so you can play with these flavors and you'll save hands you're good to go so uh, when it comes to flavors just be mindful and know that vanilla flavor butter flavors and milk flavors are very friendly and they are versatile so that is it about versatile flavors and um, we'll be going into the second um, category of flavors the ones I call the hash or the unfriendly flavors they are flavors like the almond almond flavors will work perfectly well when it comes to fruit cakes and almond cakes so it's a very harsh flavor whenever you're baking with almond flavor um, let me get my almond flavor let me show you what it looks like so <laughs> look at what an almond flavor looks like um this is the winner's brand almond flavor so this almond flavor is a very harsh flavor so be mindful when you're using it so if you're baking an almond cake um the recipe calls for two tablespoons you can't use these two tablespoons no way so what I advise people to do or bakers to do when you have a recipe that calls for almond flavor, you need to add little. If you're baking, um, let's say, um, a cake that has a um, has butter less than with less than one kg flour, at least one teaspoon of almond flavor is okay. You don't need to use one tablespoon because it's a very harsh flavor. You must be careful when you're using your almond flavor. You can even use it alone when it comes to maybe a big batter. You have to combine it with either the friendly flavors or the conventional flavors or the um, dry flavors. Also in this category, we have 
the orange flavor is also a harsh flavor we have the pineapple flavor very harsh is a harsh flavor we have the main flavor is also a harsh flavor then we have um, the mixed fruits is also harsh we have the lemon the lemon flavor also has to have the brandy and we have the strawberry and other ones as well that are not here so all these fruit flavors they are very very harsh so these flavors i can i said earlier i'm talking about my flavors and their essence they are all this um flavors that i talked about right now they are so harsh so when you're baking with those harsh flavors you must be very very careful you cannot use them alone let's say i want to bake um a fruit cake right now and i want to use pineapple flavor there is no way i can use only pineapple flavor for my fruit cake if the recipe calls for let's say <clears throat> five teaspoons of flavor there is no way i can put five teaspoons of um pineapple flavor is a no 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 it's a no no because pineapple flavor is harsh almond flavor is harsh so what do i advise you to do it's better for you to um combine with the um versatile flavors or the dry flavors or the empurpose food flavors so for me right now if i want to bake my food cake i can say okay since i need five flavors for um five teaspoons of flavor for the recipe i'm baking at hand okay i'll do it this way i'm going to use two tablets and um, two teaspoons of vanilla two teaspoons of um, butterscotch and one teaspoon of pineapple flavor or one teaspoon of almond flavor so you need to combine you don't use harsh flavors single-handedly you don't use them alone because they will spoil your baby they will spoil your big products at the end of the day those cakes and you bake it it will go still very very easily so it's always good to combine your harsh flavors with your friendly flavors or your dry or and um, then before I, I stop talking about the harsh flavors there is this particular flavor is harsh but um, you can also um, say that is a purposeful flavor and what is this flavor this flavor is <laughs> the strawberry flavor so it's advisable for you to use very little quantity when you're baking with strawberry flavor so it is a harsh flavor so what I normally advise people to do to if you want, if you must use it, is either you use very little or you combine with vanilla or condensed milk or butterscotch. So now let's say I want to bake um, a cake and maybe, okay, let's say a strawberry cake and I'm baking with 2 kg flour. At least um, using three teaspoons of this or four is okay but what i normally do is i will have to combine it with my vanilla but i will make sure it wouldn't exceed three teaspoons at most i don't know if you get what i'm talking about so that is it so strawberry flavor when you're baking with it you have to be very very careful so that's that about the harsh flavors so flavors like the orange flavor, um, almond, strawberry, pineapple, mint, um, brandy, rum, they are harsh flavors. So when you're using them, you must be very, very careful. You must combine. You can't use them all alone. So that is it. Now I'll be talking about the third category, the ones I call the purposeful flavors or conventional flavors um there are flavors like chocolate flavor i'm baking chocolate cake and i'm using chocolate flavor i'm using chocolate essence i'm baking um coconut cake and i'm using coconut flavor i'm baking um banana cake and i'm using banana flavor so these flavors they are not harsh you can use them single-handedly so i always advise people especially when it comes to your chocolate cakes whenever you're baking your chocolate cake in as much as you're adding maybe your melted chocolate or your cocoa powder it's also advisable for you to put your chocolate flavor it will make it to enhance the taste as well so these are the purposeful flavors they are not harsh they are also cool and calm they are friendly 
but you must be also careful when you're using them but i i love using them single-handedly as um, alone and when i use them alone they still turn out fine at times when even when i'm baking order maybe let's say i want a big sponge cake and i need that banana flavor like this i can add little banana flavor to my sponge cakes or my um plain cakes and the taste will still be unique so they are okay you can combine them you can use them alone you're good to go so that, that is all about the purpose for the conventional flavors and that takes us to the last category which is the dry flavors they are dry per se and what are these flavors they are flavors like the cinnamon cinnamon you use them maybe when it comes to baking your cinnamon cakes your apple cakes your fruit cakes so cinnamon is a type of dry flavor then your all spices you can also call it the mi spices or is a dry flavor then we'll have the the nutmeg the ground nutmeg these are the um common or the regular ones we have in the nigerian market then we also have the uh, nutmeg seed as well so the nutmeg seed is also a dry um, flavor because all you need to do before you use it just um, grate it or you grind it anyhow but it must be in what i say a um, powdery form it is a dry flavor so sorry it's a dry flavor so it's also a part of the dry flavor nutmeg then we we'll have the cocoa powder also is a dry flavor then we'll have the desiccated coconut i don't have it here but desiccated coconut is also a type of dry flavor so you use them for baking as well and you can you decide to use them alone you can decide to mix is it depends on how you want it but when you're mixing just be careful so a lot of bakers they complain that their cake Go still easily as in what i mean by going still is that it spoils quickly maybe they bake and after two days or after a day the test of the cake is like they don't understand it's because of your flavors how do you combine your flavors so you have to be mindful you have to know how to combine these flavors like if i want to bake a pineapple cake right now there's no need for me to start adding chocolate flavor into that um, butter. There's no need for me to start adding banana flavor into that butter. Yes, I'll be adding my pineapple flavor, but since it's a harsh flavor, I can decide to mix with vanilla. So if the recipe calls for, let's say I'm baking a pineapple cake and the recipe calls for four teaspoons of essence or um, extract or flavor, all i need to do since it's a pineapple cake i'll now weigh this option i would like okay let me add two um teaspoons of vanilla flavor and two teaspoons of pineapple flavor i think i'm good to go or two vanilla two um okay one butterscotch or one condensed milk together with one pineapple so all these things you must put them in concentration and remember that also you're adding your normal pineapple um either your the fresh pineapple or the dried one so those ones will also complement to the taste of the pineapple cake so you must put all these things into um, concentration just like maybe i want to bake my chocolate cake now right now no need of adding strawberry flavor to that my chocolate cake batter unless i want to just say i'm baking a strawberry chocolate cake which um at times they they don't they don't gel i don't know if you get me so that is that about knowing how to combine you must learn how to combine your flavor if you really want your cakes to last you must know how to combine those flavors you don't just because you want to bake it just buy flavors anyhow at times when i go to the market to um, buy things i see some bakers they go there um i want to bake sponge cake i want to bake vanilla cake please give me almond give me rum give me brandy i'm like are you adding all those things into your vanilla cake uh, i'm like wow so at times um as a baker these are the key things you must know you must know the flavor that you're using and what you're trying to achieve the taste as in the combination what is like you don't just you want to bake a cake okay let's say fruit cake you're adding more than 10 different flavors into that fruit cake butter you're adding pineapple almond banana and um, vanilla and um, brandy 
um, coconuts. You're adding everything at the end of the day. What do you want to achieve? What are you getting at? So please, please know your flavors. Know your flavors. And when I'm talking about flavors, they are essence, extracts. Today I'm not talking about industrial flavors. Mm -mm. Today I'm just talking about this mild, this less concentrated flavors that are common. Especially upcoming bakers, they use them. So I want to enlighten them more on this. So you must know how to combine your flavors. So when you're baking your vanilla cake, you can use vanilla and flavor alone. You, know, you can just, maybe if you want to give it that, um, would I say, off taste that whenever maybe someone eats it, the person will like, what did he use to um, bake? What kind of flavor did he use? They won't really feel, they won't really know what he used. So it's like a twist. At times it's better because a lot of people won't really know how to, um, what I say, how to mimic that your recipe. Each time they go out and they test cakes and they know how this is, this is the recipe queen's cake, this is social person's cake because they are used to um, their flavors as in the taste of their, their cakes are different. So at times it's always good to give your customers or other people, you, it's, it's always good to give them that twist. So when they're testing your cake, they're like confused. I, I can't really get what she used in baking this cake. I used to this is vanilla cake, she used vanilla flavor. But at the end of the day, if you trace it, that baker used vanilla flavor. So it's also good to give it a twist. And when you're doing this twist, my dear, this twist is all about combining Maybe just look for a little um, hash flavor, add it to your friendly flavor just to give that twist. But if you're not sure of how you're going to do it, if you're not really okay with combining, just leave, use your friendly flavors alone, please. So that is it about um, flavors. Yes, we also have the milk flavors. Baking with whole milk, whole milk is not really a flavor because that one is a base ingredient. Baking with evaporated milk is not really flavor, it's a base ingredient. Baking with condensed milk, the real one, is not really a flavor, it's a base ingredient. So you also need to complement those base ingredients with little flavor, that's your essence, to give it a wow taste. So I think um, I'll be stopping here today because I've talked too much. So for now, I'll pause on this. I hope and I believe you learned something new today. So when it comes to flavors, just have in mind, we have the versatile or the friendly flavors, we'll have the harsh or the, or the unfriendly flavors, then we'll have the purposeful or the conventional flavors, then we'll have the dry flavors. So that is all about flavors. So in your bakery, in your kitchen, wherever you bake, do the um also would i say do the practice keep learning how to combine your flavors and how they work for you but be mindful of the kind of twist you're going to give people out there so your cakes don't really spoil their day so um thanks for watching and do stay blessed and before i leave please if you've not such if you're watching me and you have not subscribed what are you waiting for please support your girl just that subscription button, you don't need to pay to just tap on it. It's free. Just tap and just subscribe. And also tap on the notification bell. And please, when you're watching this, or if you're watching this video, or you've watched this video and you didn't skip ads, thank you so much. Thanks for supporting me. And if you skip ads along the line, please go back, start afresh. And while you're watching, don't skip ads. Support me because that's the only way I can aim on YouTube. That's the only way I can beat my chest and say, yes, um, my labor is not in vain. I'm, I'm getting there. And my my followers, my subscribers are really supporting me. Please, please, thanks for all the likes. And don't forget to share this video because a lot of people need to learn because most people are falling victims of, of stale cakes, of cakes that are spoiling on time and they don't know they did everything and at the end of the day they're like why did this cake spoil because she did not combine your flavors very well or maybe you used excess industrial flavors i'll be talking about that some of the time but not today so i believe i've made sense i believe i've taught someone something new today so thanks for watching and bye